Many thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. Uh, today I'm out just to, <laughs> I wanted to avoid the pinky flowers that I had in the in the last video that I posted. Um, so uh, today I'm going to start building a transceiver. Um, I found this uh, schematic long time ago before I even found the PTTCO and all the other simple transceivers that I tried so far. Uh, this one I believe it was uh, designed by G3 XMB and uh, it's uh, designed for the 80 meters band but uh, I will do I will do the, that one now the original version and probably later on I'm going to try to um, modify it for the 20 meters band and uh, use it that way for the X <laughs> when I'm going to have the time to, to learn the code I can't believe it it's been nearly two years since I keep trying to uh, find some time to, to do it but unfortunately uh, no luck so far maybe this summer uh, I would really really like by uh, my birthday in September to be able to transmit uh, in Morse code so anyway until then I get to build stuff and uh, I'll play with them later on so anyway let's get inside on the on the table and uh, start putting it together and see how it works if you want to build beautiful homebrew projects choose PCB way with excellent PCB prototyping services, all you have to do is to open your account on PCBWay, use the software of your choice to design your PCB board, upload the Gerber files and place your order. Soon you will receive your professional and great quality PCB boards for your projects. PCBWay also offers PCB assembly services, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and even more. PCBWay is the way. Alrighty, so here we are, it's finished. I built the whole thing on the prototyping board just because I don't have uh, too much time to solder stuff. But uh, here it is, it sounds pretty well. I'm going to put the schematic on the screen and uh, as you can tell, it's very, very simple. Um, I like it, two transistors only. Uh, probably I might have to make a few changes. Um, I've seen uh, another schematic at some point that they had a separate switch. Um, for uh, receiving and transmitting and I think um, I believe that's for the frequency offset uh, but I will do some testing first and then I'll play around and when I do the final version um, I'll do it for the 20 meters band and I'll show you that one uh, the way it turns out I probably do another video and uh, we get to have some fun with that one but uh, anyway let's uh, let's do some testing I'm going to cut my microphone and put it close to the speaker of the true SDX so you can hear this thing transmitting So it doesn't sound bad at all. I like it. It doesn't have, uh, it doesn't seem to have any chirp, and I like that. Uh, probably in the 20 meters version, I might uh, replace uh, the PA transistor. We'll see. Maybe I can get better results. I didn't measure yet the the power output on, of this one on the 80 meters band, but I will in a little bit. We'll have a look. Okay. So just <laughs> to be easier for us to listen, the true SDX. Uh, heard into the transceiver over here. I'm going to use this uh, audio amplifier that we built some while ago. It's very annoying that I have very limited space here on the table to move <laughs> and film and my cats are scratching the door outside. They want to get inside. Anyway, I connected the RF watt meter um, just to do a quick power test. Um, I know that in the articles that I've read and a couple of notes on Facebook long time ago when I first discovered the schematic, um, the power output was somewhere between 300 milliwatts up to 800 milliwatts depending on the transistors they were using. So I'm curious how much I get with this one. Four hundred and fifty milliwatts. It's enough. This is on the eighty meters band. I'm curious if on the twenty meters band would be the same. Anyway, it sounds nice. 
I like it. It has the nice power output. So yeah, success. <laughs> nice transceiver. Definitely, I'm going to finish building the final version and try to uh, to put it in a nice enclosure and probably use it uh, at some point when I learn the code. Meanwhile, I will try to see if I can uh, get some propagation and uh, we get to receive something. I'll try to listen. If I do, um, I'll put that right after this uh, little part. If not, I'll skip straight to the outro and uh, probably we get to listen to this one a little bit later or I'll post um, some stories on, uh, oh sorry, on a reel on Instagram and you get to listen over there. Okay, I hope you like it and uh, I really like this uh, simple transceiver. So uh, definitely I'm going to plan and use it for DX. Um, what can I say? I'll see you next week. Um, I'm planning to build a vertical antenna for DX as well for the 20 meters band. Um, just because I'm trying to uh, do some portable work. Until then, uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon. 73, Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-ray Echo.